Greetings world. We are anonymous. As the genocide of Palestinians in Gaza continues, Palestinians are starting to lose hope. A humanitarian catastrophe that is unfolding in Palestine, that no international organization can cope with. The locals are screaming, Israel is killing us without mercy. Over 22,000 Palestinians, most of which were women and children, have lost their lives because of Israel's shelling of Gaza. The humanitarian situation in the enclave is deteriorating. The vast majority are lacking food, water, electricity, and basic medications. Israel opened a war on Gaza, aimed at crushing the so-called Hamas Islamic group, but instead of doing so, Israel deliberately killed more than 22,000 Palestinians. An anonymous Palestinian which their name will not be mentioned in this message for their security, and of course from the Gaza city, says, even before the war, my family, like most of Palestinians, were living in poverty and deprivation, but back then, we at least, had some sort of security, my family was working inside Israel, there was food on the table, and there was a hope that things would change for the better, the events of the so-called October 7th incident, has turned all our lives, upside down, for months, the Palestinians are living under heavy Israeli bombardment, focused primarily on Gaza City. The animals of the Israeli Defense Forces, which so call saying they are striking military targets belonging to Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad, dropped a bomb on a six story building in the center of Khan Yunis, killing dozens of other Palestinians. The conditions for Palestinians there are terrible, if not horrific. All the Palestinian children are going to sleep without eating and Palestinians are afraid that the children would just die from starvation. Food is not the only commodity for most Palestinians of Gaza's population that are lacking, but basic hygiene products and medications are also out of reach. Medical services are almost non-existent, primarily because many of Gaza's hospitals have either been bombed or stop functioning because of no electricity. The children are often sick, due to the poor weather conditions. To get any medical assistance, the families need to walk for two hours, just to reach a nearby hospital. The Palestinians simply do not have money for transportation, even if it is with a donkey cart. Hisham Mana, a communications officer with the International Committee of the Red Cross, who is currently in Gaza, says, he and his organization understand and feel the distress, helplessness, and anger for the people. According to Hisham Mana, hundreds of thousands of people are trying to find refuge in Gaza shelters, hospitals, and schools. Many are sleeping in their cars or out in the open air since their homes and neighborhoods have been turned into rubble. The vast majority of the Palestinian population are now displaced in the parts of the middle area, and Rafa governates. These large-scale displacements add immense pressure on the already fragile service systems, like water, sanitation, and electricity. No bakeries have been working, due to the lack of fuel, water, and wheat flour, as well as extensive damage caused by Israel hostilities. Most water pumping plants in Gaza, have ceased operating. Water can no longer be pumped or desalinated, leaving families with no access to water. One of the main reasons for this is the absence of basic safety conditions, primarily caused by the heavy Israeli bombings, and the other is Israel's reluctance to allow large quantities of humanitarian aid into the area. The assistance that does enter does not meet the growing needs of the population. It is beyond any humanitarian organization's capacity to respond to the situation in Gaza. In the absence of sufficient aid, absence of security guarantees to move safely and freely, and the non-stop Israeli hostilities, no one can satisfy those who lost their homes, livelihood, family members, and future prospects. A Palestinian says, Israel is killing us without mercy, and the United States government which supports it, does not care about us, the innocent people. Palestinian factions are keeping silence, Arab presidents in the world community ignoring our suffering. We are left here to die, while the world is watching. 
According to a United Nations data, more than 1.7 million out of 2.2 million Palestinians have been displaced because of the conflict. Over one in four households in the coastal enclave face extreme hunger. The majority of Palestinians have completely exhausted their food supplies. The vast majority are suffering from the lack of water. Palestinians say they do not have any hope for a future as the bloody conflict that has claimed up to more than 22,000 Palestinian lives is about to enter its fourth month and the Palestinians are certain that if the situation continues to deteriorate the Palestinians living conditions will become even much more unbearable they exist in Israel and the occupied territories of Israel since 1967 they have never witnessed this level of human suffering and deteriorating humanitarian situation before and if it continues to get worse they will see more loss of Palestinian lives including women and children more families will be separated and the living conditions for millions of people will worsen as number seven of the collective we denounce these violent acts of terror committed by a dictator named Benjamin Netanyahu from Israel we are anonymous we are legion we do not forgive we do not forget to the dictator named Benjamin Netanyahu we will do everything in our celestial power in exposing how inhumane got less worth less that we cannot even call you a human being you are a murderous coward worse than any animal known to man or monkey known to human to all the powerful leaders like Russia China and India please for the love of all the children of our planet stop this insane genocide that is being committed right before our very eyes the corrupt American government only supplies Israel with destructive weapons and the world is witnessing are being used on innocent Palestinian women and children indiscriminately to the corrupted war machine in the United States corporate paid government the blood of those innocent Palestinian women and children are also in your hands expect a rack from the celestials that you have never ever seen before in human history so expect that